right here. Here, this question is asking the outputs of four registers R0, R1, R2, and R3 are connected through four to one line multiplexers to the input of the fifth register R5. Each register is eight bits long. The required transfers are dictated by four timing variables T0 through T3 in a timed sequence as follows T0 R5 is equal to R0, T1 R5 is equal to R1, T2 R5 is equal to R2, T3 R5 is equal to R3. The timing variables are mutually exclu exclusive which means that, uh, that only one variable is equal to 1 at any given time while the other three are equal to zero. Draw a block diagram showing the hardware implementation of the register transfers. Include the connections necessary from the four timing variables to the selection inputs of the multiplexers and, the, and to the load control input of the register five, register R5. Now let's see how to do that. Draw that. Here I'm going to do, I'm going to use a multiplexer. Four by one multiplexer. marks and here we have output and s1 and s0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and enabled here we have r0 r0 r1 r2 R3 and R0 connected to 0, R1 connected to 1 and R2 connected to 2 and then R3 connected to 3 and after that we are going to use a 4 by 2 encoder four by two encoder here 0, 1, 2, 3 enabled and out 1, out 2, out 1 is connected to S1 and out 2 is connected to S0 and here we connect uh, OR gate right here. Four by one OR gate. Here in and this one is load. Okay, this one coming from output to here R five from here to load. Okay, now. Zero one two three now zero goes to here one goes to here two goes to here and three goes to here and this one is T0, T1, T2, T3 okay this four by one OR gate mm. 4 by 2 encoder this one is connected to the load and that's it that's how we do that i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn digital logic design too there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time